Hello friends, welcome again in schematic and layout design with microbending part 2. Open the schematic. Click on the transistor symbol in the symbol library. Here the transistors and most famous that uh, it is are and the advanced of and another. So we start with the NAND logic design and use, uh, by using CMOS technology and then follow its layout design. Uh, in CMOS designing, we use uh, pull up network and uh, pull down network. In pull up network, CMOS is used and uh, LMOS for uh, pull down network. So we take the symbol of CMOS from the symbol library. Okay. So press two input. NAND gate so 2 QMOS and 2 NMOS state it see the difference uh, in the width of QMOS and NMOS it is because of uh, current handling capability of uh, QMOS is less uh, by factor of around 2 uh, than NMOS okay. So make the function connect uh, drain and source. Connect the VTD and ground the VTD and the first ground. Connect the input pattern. And output LED. Okay. So our design is ready. And uh, can change the name AP and uh, naming of the output is C and we can change the color of LEDs too so our design is ready okay so we use digital simulator to verify the functionality of our design the schematic so next step is the simulation so here is the check of floating line okay. so there is nothing so we need options we start simulation or we can start directly from here okay. we can change the input this is 0, this is 1, this is 1 make it 0 we check the uh, response according to the input and uh, the more features should be state okay so okay we can uh, check our response in corresponding to the inputs so this is our waveform as we change the input the response accordingly okay okay next 
is a file so you have to save it okay make a new folder land okay and share with name of landkit Our schematic on and be it is saved. So you can select the foundry. These are the foundry you can select any one of them. Yeah. Make a of file. So here's the file of file. Module lands name it input output to show the delay this is simulation parameter uh, 1000 2000 okay. all in nanoseconds okay. so value of file generate a spice file for third one now. and here the main spice file okay. And we can make a P spice. So simply click on it. Okay. So simulation is okay. And uh, uh, stuck at uh, one uh, stuck at zero port. We can have like here. Yeah. Okay. Just checking the node and take that. Alright, so what design is completed? Schematic design completed, but the file is ready to use by the layout editor. So open the layout editor. First of all, we select the foundry and uh, select the foundry. So we use the CMOS tag. Tell them the rule. Okay, start with it. Compile the value of file. So .txt file is a value of file. You can compile it open and show the value of file is going on. here the width uh, and length of the pmos as well as for mos and length we can change here okay so for style name what rule and all about mm -hmm. the is routing width is meant to serve as or at the vertical input of flow plan we can make it okay so i'm not going to change it Compile it. Say the no here. Back to the editor. Now we have to connect a capacitor. So there is a cache space. So we can The value cap stand depends on our choice. Okay. So our layout is ready for test. Okay. So here the output and then make it twenty. Now you see this. A B and is the output P O C. Okay. Other options are there. Like uh, change the input sequence. Okay. This is the A. This is supply clock or pulse. 
uh, we can apply input uh, in the in this form okay one of these form the variable sign variable count okay the same for the okay. so see the output like this we change the boundary we change the boundary select boundary and uh, we just talk on the okay. and then see the output the fluctuation in output is going on okay so we'll make it relevant and uh, see the uh, Select form by clear properties and out of convert into CR layout file spike netlist. Yeah. This is the spike netlist with size, and we can use it. These are the other features model parameters supply voltage 1.2 volt and powerful voltage 2.5 temperature 27 imperial level is by default. Okay, other simulation I use. To show the most list in the design, there are the NMOS, two NMOS, and uh, two PMOS yeah. device and low leakage, high speed, whatever you want to add, we can. So other features are in here most list is done and lambda grid edit is a simulation using model there are the three model similar there is all these in simulation parameter you can check here okay if you use that first model then see the response so nice is FFT Time and frequency, the frequency parameter, your maximum frequency, show the frequency here. Okay, so voltage versus time, voltage versus voltage, the voltage versus current, voltage versus voltage, and change A or B, then set the output B, frequency versus time, a diagram. B reset so okay. show the power estimation 2.36 micro watt okay other features are there most characteristics it takes some time uh, there are most characteristics begin in most characteristics the most characteristics okay. the BC model is level one Level three, level one. Again, check the all of things. This is the drain voltage versus drain uh, drain current versus drain voltage, drain current versus gate voltage. This is the log threshold voltage, the resistance which etc. Okay. The simulator, the simulation parameter with flow stop. Characteristics already done. There is range frequency, circuit interruption. So, the capacitor okay. fabrication animation so not mode and diffusion silicon oxide isolation thin oxide this can be
so design is it okay now simulation on layout okay All right, it's all about the layout design and the features that are helping something missing or not. Uh, UV exposure and just click on it. Okay, run simulation, whatever such time, static whatever such time, simulation such time using model level 3 model level 3 by default, simulation model layout, compilation line by line. Okay, this is done. So, thank you very much. The part two uh, circuit design or gate level design uh, we will discuss in part three. So, thank you.